We've got a new basketball commitment, which means it's time for a new KSO Now, brought to you by People State Bank and Legacy Insurance. The news today is the commitment of Siri, uh, pronounced Siri, he tells us, like some of you may say to your phone. Uh, Siri Lewis, a three-star rated six foot eight power forward prospect. Lewis got his offer from K-State about a week ago, uh, committing today and becoming the fifth member of a recruiting class. That also includes four Rivals 150 members, if you also count UTEP transfer Casey Eziagu, who set out the season after transferring in. It will give the Wildcats a minimum of six newcomers on next year's roster. At the moment, following the departures of posts James Love and Nigel Shad, Lewis's commitment does put K-State at the 13 scholarship limit. The Wildcats are still actively recruiting, however, with the most notable target being Lincoln, Nebraska, four-star shooting guard Donovan Williams, of course. The news today is really about Lewis, however, who's now out of Arizona but had played in Chicago in the past with K-State sophomore to be Dejuan Gordon. Lewis told Grant Flanders that relationship to Gordon, uh, as well as really the love and communication he felt from the Kansas State coaching staff, prompted him to commit to K-State. I'll be very honest with you. All I've really seen on Lewis as a player is about five minutes total of a few different highlight packages uh, sprinkled throughout the Reb. My initial very crude and, to be quite honest, again, not fully informed impression is this is perhaps somebody with some similarities to former Wildcat Jamar Samuels. That's the first player that kind of comes to mind to me. Uh, maybe the size and athleticism of a 6'7"-ish. You know, Siri Lewis is listed anywhere from 6'8 to 6'9, wherever you look. I'm not sure of his size yet. Jamar Samuels is more in that 6'7 range. I wonder if Lewis isn't too. We'll find out. But it makes me think he's perhaps a somewhat, you know, undersized in a traditional sense, I guess, you know, from a bulk perspective for, but with more athleticism and leaping than you'd think of, you know, a shooting skill for a possible stretch for type. Um, I really shouldn't get ahead of myself on that evaluation, but he does appear to be a guy with a qu kind of a quick leap ability. He gets off the ground pretty fast. His second jump might be quick too, and who is pretty explosive vertically. So again, I need to see a lot more to him. I need to watch whole games. We need to talk to some people. But after watching five or six minutes, I see a guy who's, you know, probably six, seven, six, eight, looks to be a pretty good athlete. Um, inside a guy who can get probably play above the rim a little bit, but we'll see about his shooting skills and other skills because I have not seen a lot of tape yet. Um, when we see him more, hopefully I can give you a take you can really put some stock into. Flando, of course, has already spoken with Siri Lewis, has the commit story out, um, and a couple of quotes from him in there. Look for a, what it means from Flando after he gets to watch more of Lewis's game, talks with some sources, and we can try to give you a better sense of what type of player K-State's basketball program has just added. So, KSO now, the news today, Siri Lewis commits K-State's fifth commitment of this class, will be the sixth edition if you count Casey Eziagu next season. Thank you for listening to KSO now. We'll talk to you soon.